good songs, but uh, I find out occasionally that uh, I know a tune really well and also that I can play it, so I end up playing it a lot, and this is one of those. I don't know the tune forever, but I just found out just a few weeks ago that I can play it. So you get a lot of these guys. <laughs> it's the thing, um, when, I, when I first first had it, so I had it down as it were, um, I was staying with a mate down in Dorset. And I, I said, listen to this tune, isn't it a great tune? I know you know this tune, but let me play a tune. This is a great tune. And I played this tune. He said, I know that tune. I said, of course you do. Said, no, 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 no. It's not, it's not called what you call it. You're calling it the fall of Paris or the downfall of Paris. Downfall of Paris. And I said, yeah. And he said, no, it's not called that. I said, yes, it is. No, 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 no. He got plunged into his, into his CD collection and sort of came up slightly disheveled. This CD, and it was a CD of a new Scorpion band. And it's, uh, there it is, and he put it on, <coughs> sure enough, same tune, only it wasn't called The Downfall of Paris, it was called The Downfall of Pears. So I sort of led, led, led it up on the back of the scene notes because when, you, when you've got someone in, in a band like, uh, like Tim Laycock, you're going to find someone who's going to dig around and find out about stuff. Why is it called that? Why is it different? It's the same tune. Why is it different? You think of it as an Irish tune. It's also Irish and English, and I thought, you know, shared repertoire, da 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 Turns out that, uh, that Tim Laycock discovered that it's not that at all. It's French. It was written as a, it's a song written uh, in the French Revolution. It's ça With loads and loads of verses, and it's all about stringing the, stringing the aristos up. <laughs> 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 It is that again, according to Tim, from when, when, uh, when the Napoleonic Wars were going on, of course, the, the French military bands played this, and other bands from other countries picked up on the tune. Starts off a bit like Lily Marlene, but eventually it leaves Lily Marlene standing because every, every single every single army that fought in the, in the Napoleonic Wars, regardless of which side they, 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 they were fighting on, ended up playing this tune. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> when, they, when the Allies entered Paris, of course they struck up with this tune, and the Duke of Wellington was incensed because he knew what this was about. And he insisted they stop, he gave the direct order, you will stop playing this tune and you will play something much more sensible, he said. <laughs> so he insisted they play a nice Catholic backing tune called um, Croppies lie down. Nice man. Um, he was, of course, born in Dublin, but when people reminded him of that, he said, just because you're born in the stable doesn't mean you're a bloody horse. <laughs> 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 